Hi, I'm Terry Johnson, one of the co-creators of The Quirkles, and I'm here today with another young scientist. What's your name? Jack. Jack. How, how old are you, Jack? Five. Five. And what grade are you in? Preschool. Preschool. Have you ever heard of The Quirkles? Yes. Yes. Well, we are going to do an activity today from our Yanni Yolanda More Experiment book. What holiday is getting ready to come up, Jack? Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, and we love Valentine's Day, don't we? And we talk a lot we, about hearts in Valentine's Day, we don't we? To, we get to bring everybody heart candy, everybody hearts. Right. Well, we're gonna talk about a different kind of heart today, not just the heart shape, but a human heart. That's very important to our bodies, isn't it? We have to have a heart. And one of the functions that a heart does is that it pumps blood. Can you squeeze that heart, Jack? Squeeze it with your hand. That is a heart model. Now, every time that a heart, our heart pumps, it's pumping blood throughout our body. You ready to make a blood model, Jack? Jack, I would like for you to take this cup, please, and I would like for you to pour it into your plastic cup, and this is corn syrup, and it's kind of a yellowish color, isn't it? That's because most of our blood, Jack, is plasma. 55% of our blood is plasma, and plasma carries nutrients throughout See, our body. It in there. Yes, you did. Now, but that doesn't look like blood, does it? No, that doesn't look like blood at all. Well, that's, that is red. That's right. In this cup, which is a less amount than our plasma, we have red hots. And do you know what we're going to pretend our red hots are? What? Red blood cells. Most of the cells in blood are red blood cells that carry the oxygen to the heart. Can you take your red blood cells and pour them into your corn syrup? Ah, it now it, red a it does turn it red a little bit, and that's exactly what happens to the plasma. The red blood cells turn it red because Look, of the hemoglobin. They are. Now, Jack, we have some other things that go into our blood. We have, can you take this cup? And, and what do you have inside that cup, Jack? Four white little bitty marshmallows. Four white marshmallows. Now, Jack, are are the marshmallows? Oh, here's one. Okay, thank you. Is this marshmallow bigger or smaller than your red hot? Uh, bigger. It's bigger. That's because white blood cells are larger than our red blood cells. But we don't have as many white blood cells in our body. White. Let's put our white blood cells in our model with our red hots and our plasma. The white blood cells are like the soldiers. Oh. When, you're, when you get a cut or you get an infection, the soldiers come, the white blood cells come to fight off the infection. So we call the white blood cells the soldiers. Now we have in our last cup, we have one little bitty more thing, and those are very small and red, yeah, they're, aren't they? Yeah, they're teeny tiny, they're red sprinkles. That's right, they are red sprinkles. Now let's put the sprinkles in your model, please. Pour them in. Now, it Jack, we fall. are pretending like the sprinkles are the platelets. Can you say platelets, Jack? Platelets. Platelets. Now, do you know what the platelets do? What? We call those the stoppers. Can you go stop? Stop. That's right. And that's what the platelets do. When we get a cut and we bleed, um, it, it bleeds, doesn't it? Yeah. So we have to have the platelets so it can stop the blood from flowing. So in our blood, we have the plasma, the red blood cells, the white blood cells, and the platelets. Okay, Jack, can you take your stirring stick and stir your blood model? We have our, now what? We have our plasma, our red blood cells, our white blood cells, and our platelets. 
Now, Jack, can you lift up very carefully your blood model and say, Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. All right. You can see many more of our Quirkle videos on our Quirkle YouTube channel or online at Quirkles.com. Thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye. Say bye, Jack. Bye.